Hello. Edutainment Studios and Access Healthcare welcome you to Hepatitis C, Preventing Complications. This module is part three of a four-part series on preventing complications of hepatitis C. Your liver is the largest organ inside your body. It helps your body digest food, store energy, and remove poisons. Hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver. One type, hepatitis C, is caused by the hepatitis C virus, HCV. It usually spreads through contact with infected blood. Most people who are infected with hepatitis C do not have any symptoms for years. If you do get symptoms, you may feel as if you have the flu. You may also have jaundice, dark-colored urine, and pale bowel movements. A blood test can tell if you have it. There is no vaccine for HCV. In this course, the objective is to help you learn what are some possible side effects of having hepatitis C treatment. Medicines for chronic hepatitis C can have side effects. If you notice side effects, talk to your doctor right away. Your doctor may be able to help you find ways to cope with the side effects or recommend changes to your treatment plan. Some side effects can include nausea, trouble sleeping, feeling tired, and headaches. For nausea, you should drink and eat more slowly to give your stomach time to digest. And try having smaller meals throughout the day instead of three larger meals. Eat bland foods from BRAT diet. This stands for bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. When having trouble sleeping, go to bed and wake up at the same time each day, including the weekends. Avoid large meals and caffeine a few hours before bed so nothing interferes with your sleep. When you're feeling tired, take a short nap in the afternoon and exercise for 30 minutes most days of the week. For headaches, you should talk to your doctor to make sure you're drinking the right amount of fluids so you are not dehydrated and get at least seven hours of sleep each night. Chronic hepatitis C treatments continue to improve, but they still may not be right for everyone. If you or your partner is pregnant or thinking about becoming pregnant, tell your doctor right away. Some medicines are not safe for unborn children. Please feel free to investigate these other sites for more information and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for part three of this four-part series on hepatitis C and come back for part four.